Hello everybody! Today we're going over measurement technique for corsets. First, you will need a helper if at all possible. It is almost impossible to measure yourself accurately. Work next to a mirror if possible. Wear a supportive but lightly padded or unpadded modern bra and avoid bulky clothing. Finally, make sure everything is out of the pockets. For the rest of the video, I will be addressing the measurer and will go over every measurement we require for custom corsets and stays. First, mark the waist with a plain woven, narrow tape like a piece of twill tape. Avoid satin ribbon or anything too slippery. Tie the tape snugly around the natural waist. Natural waist is the point directly between the rib cage and the hip bone. The body often naturally creases here when bending to the side. Adjust the tape until it's in the right place. It should be approximately parallel to the floor, but on some figures it may dip a little in the front. Measure the natural waist at the tape line. For all measurements, pull the tape snug, but not too tight. Do not put a finger behind the tape. To measure the bust, wrap the tape around the figure at the fullest part. Make certain that the tape does not slip down the back. It should be close to parallel to the floor. This is where that mirror comes in handy. Next, measure the underbust. This should also be close to parallel to the floor. It should be taken at the underwire or bra band height. Depending on the length of the torso and height of the bust, this measurement may be close to the waist or quite a few inches above it. That's okay. We measure the high hip at three inches below the waist. This should be around what is called the iliac crest, the high hip bone. Measure down three inches from the waist and take note of that spot. Then wrap the tape around the figure and snug it up. Make sure it is even and horizontal to the floor. As you can see, this can take a bit of finessing since the tape often wants to slide up the hip at this point. For low hip, measure down to the fullest part of the hip. This is usually seven to nine inches below the waist. Again, make sure the tape is parallel and even. Most corsets don't go down this far, but this helps us understand your proportion. Finally, we have length measurements. These help determine the length of your corset or stays. We will start with the back neck to waist. Find the prominent bone at the back of the neck and measure down to the waistline. Next is side length, or what we refer to as underarm to waist. Make sure the arms and shoulders are in a relaxed state. Slide a hand up under the arm to the point where it meets resistance. This is usually a little ways above the top of a bra band. Measure from this point down to the waist. Our corsets and stays don't sit quite this high, but it tells us your torso length so that we can adjust accordingly. For reference, most of our styles measure 7 to 8 inches from underarm to waist. Finally, the underbust to waist measurement is taken from underwire to waist. This measurement can vary significantly depending on torso height and bust position.